when it comes to making authorization decisions, there's information that the system needs to know in order to make that call. So what team is that person in? What roles they have? What office they belong to? What groups are they a part of? This is all referred to as state about the user or even about the resource they're trying to access. And that state exists already today inside of your application. That will be stored in your data application database. It'll be stored in your, your user table. It'll be stored in your identity provider, for example. This is all state about the users and about the resources inside of your system. For that authorization component to make a decision, it needs to actually understand this state and then use it essentially as inputs for the decision-making process, checking what role someone's in, checking who the owner of a resource is, all making use of that state. Now, the problem with this is that state is existing today already inside of your databases, inside of your services, inside of your APIs. And what you don't wanna do is have to replicate that constantly to your authorization service for it to have its own copy essentially to make a decision based upon the information about the resource or the principle. So the alternative approach here is something called stateless authorization. This is where the authorizing component inside of the system, the authorization service, the authorization library, whatever you're using, doesn't hold a copy of the information, but the state about the user and the resource of the principal is passed in the request to that authorization system. And then that information is always going to be live and up to date because it's coming directly from your application database and being passed over to the authorization system. Because you're not having to replicate, you now need to have to worry about replication lag, caching, what, you, what happens if there's a lag in terms of getting updates to the, to the authorization system and a user tries to interact with something before the replication is complete. It leads to all a bit of a nightmare and a bit of confusion around exactly what state is involved and, and what status components in the system are. So the stateless approach is far more scalable because you're always providing the latest information directly from your application database or directly from your identity provider to the authorization decision. So it always has the latest information for, to make a decision upon. And the side benefit here is because the authorization component is stateless, you can very easily scale that up or horizontally scale it as your application grows and your traffic grows and your architecture grows, because you're not having to maintain state, there's no backing data store, there's no database that you have to scale up along with the authorization service because that state has been passed to every single request to the authorization service. So it's always fresh without having to do any lookups or any fetching from an underlying data store.